here we're going to deal with the fifth question in integrated algebra and it is based on the finding the property identifying the property the question is saying the statement 2 plus 0 equals to 2 is an example of the use of the which property of real numbers uh, one associative second additive identity additive inverse or distributive uh, simply by looking I think you can easily figure out that uh, it's additive identity well I'm gonna tell you why it is not associative in associative you know we learn generally like X plus Y plus Z if it is then X plus Y once you associate in next time ne next time what you can do you can leave X uh, and you can associate Y and Z so this is associative law you know like 1 plus 2 plus 3 and here also I'm writing 1 plus 2 plus 3 and that's equivalence to actually uh, 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 that's 6 all right so does not matter how you associate it you know in real numbers so 1 plus 2 I'm associating one time and next time I'm associating 2 and 3 that's finally gonna give me 6 you know it's going to be 3 plus 3 and this is going to be 1 plus 5 and they all are right you know this is associative and additive identity how we had learned additive identity we had learned like this if x plus 0 then x plus 0 equals to x and the same thing is actually 0 plus x like this we had learned you know so in the same format it is you know 2 plus 0 equals to 2 so it's it's just additive identity you know simple we are just adding we are just adding two quantities like like x plus y equals to x plus y you know together I mean I mean 3 plus 2 equals to 5 this is just additive identity all right so this is our answer additive identity and now why added why why this additive inverse is not our answer because additive inverse is something like this if it is 3 then the additive inverse of 3 is just negative of that it's minus 3 and in and if minus 3 is the number then the additive inverse of the minus 3 will be minus of minus 3 and that's going to minus times minus that's plus 3 all right similarly if I have minus 5 then the additive inverse of minus 5 will be minus of whatever the number is and minus minus plus 5 all right and distributive law distributive law is some somehow like this you know how you're distributing let's say it's x times y plus z then you can distribute first x times y all right it's going to be x times y and then plus and then next time x times z all right x times z i'm going to say something like the distributive properties let's say it's 2 and let's say it's 3 plus 4 then you can first multiply 2 and 3 all right 2 and 3 2 times 3 and the next time you can write 2 times 4 2 times 4 all right like this you can do uh, both time you'll get the same thing you know i'm doing here 2 times 3 that is 6 2 times 4 that is 8 and here see 2 times 3 plus 4 that is 7 it's 7 and 2 times 7 that is 14 and here also 6 plus 8 that is 14 you know this is this is, uh, this is uh, yeah distributive law so this is not you know our answer is additive identity I hope you understand it